So this is part three. Good wants life to flourish. It wants everything to continue and prosper. Evil wants the complete opposite. So what do we do? We attack the life-giving source, which is women, females. You're priceless. The trick is, one, to make small males degrade you with the goal of getting you. And they don't deserve you. They're poor providers. They're weak. They don't have good things to teach people and to hand down. So we convince women that these kind of guys are attractive, bad boys, unachievable things, because they have daddy issues from other weak males that got into the line. So now, you only want these type of guys. But every once in a while, a good guy will sneak in, convince you you have worth, that life could be better, you could be loved and you deserve it, and you continue with him. So evil says no. We gotta not only convince these women they don't deserve it, they have to be unattractive to these guys, and then actually, you know what? We'll make them destroy good men. It's a cycle.